<laughs> when I first became a full-time pastor, my wife was working as a lawyer. She, my wife never sent me. My wife never did that. I'm too strong for that. <laughs> you know, she never did that. But every time she went to work, people would ask her at work that, oh, your husband doesn't work anymore. You know, because people have a mind that if you are in the ministry, like you don't work, there's nothing to do. Then, those with you in the house, so you have to control your, your wife. My wife never did that, but I know a lot of wives who have been sending their husband all the time. You have to resist that and say, in the name of Jesus, I refuse that thing. Don't accept that job, odd job man. Don't accept to be an odd job man. <laughs> Are you listening? Okay. Then those, your relatives, your relatives, you must also bang it into their heads that you are a pastor. Because a pastor's working timetable is one of the biggest timetable days for your time. It's Sunday. And then on Sunday, they want to call you for a family meeting, this discussion, come for this, come for this. On Sunday, it, I, 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 one day I told my, I don't know whether my mother-in-law, my mother, I said, look, Sunday is like, if you ask me to come somewhere on Sunday, it's like the whole week I, I, I shouldn't go to work. Can you imagine at your workplace where you don't go to work for one week? The Sunday, we start from morning all the way.